We offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. And my brothers and my sisters, in order to prepare ourselves to receive these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our own sinfulness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity, and so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children and when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the debt of your sins, a house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom. And the favor of God was upon him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As a member of a family, there are special moments that highlight the gift of life entrusted to a family. We celebrate those moments with birthdays and weddings, anniversaries, all offer opportunities to celebrate our relationship as family. One which is especially significant for us as people of faith is baptism. The family gathers together in church to proclaim the child's relationship to God and to one another in faith. The child is claimed for Christ and all welcome the new members of the Christian family. As a member of a family, we are responsible for one another. In today's first reading, the book of Sirach declares the role one plays in the respect and care of one par one's parents. God will reward the person who recognizes and fulfills their responsibility. Now, I've been privileged to experience many who care for their family members, and I know that they are and will be blessed by God. I've often said this must be an extremely great burden for you, but they respond immediately that the sacrifice is based in love and it mirrors that sacrificial love that Jesus has for us all. 
Well, we take a look and remember Abraham, uh, the, the father. Remember all the obstacles that Abraham had before him. He was told he was going to be the head of descendants that would be as numerous as the stars in the sky or as countless as the grains of sand on the shore. And yet, he was 100. His wife, Sarah, was 90 and sterile. But Abraham trusted because it would be God's way not Abraham's way, that he would make of all these descendants. And we today are the children of Abraham. In that second reading, our connectedness to Jesus helps us to understand the model that we have. And embodying that model, it's not that we do it because it gains something for us, but we do it because of thanksgiving. That our connectedness to God through his son has been so profound. In the gospel today, Mary and Joseph bring their son Jesus to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. They declare that he belonged to God and trust fully in God himself. At the ceremony, there were those that recognized the significance of this moment, and I'll bet that there were some that made predictions about this young man. But one in particular, Simon, a righteous and holy man, was moved by the Holy Spirit. He blessed the child and predicted that he would be destined for the fall and the rise of many in Israel to be a sign that will be contradicted. Yes, the Holy Spirit was working through him, uniting him to a vision of the child's destiny. And that destiny, his life sacrifice for us on the cross, would all make us family. What do we call family? We call family blood. And it's the blood of Jesus that certainly has made us one. We belong to the church and we are family. We place our trust in God and we accept our responsibility to care and to love one another. Together we profess our faith. I believe in God the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As one family, we now place our needs before God, our loving Father. For the Church, incarnated in our families and in our homes, that it may always be strengthened in faith, and nurtured through practice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, that they may work for justice throughout and among their nations, so that peace may flower in every language, in every land, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle to keep their family together, or to reestablish bonds with those who have been estranged, that the Holy Family may strengthen them in their efforts we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our families, wherever we find them and build them, among our friends, in our workplaces, or in parishes like our own. And for those who long for a family to love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for the sick, especially among our Heart of the Nation parish family, that they will be relieved of their suffering during this Christmas season we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who have gone before us, that they will be embraced by the Blessed Virgin Mary and St. Joseph as they behold Christ face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now we offer up the needs and prayers of all our Heart of the Nation parish members, including those joining us from the state, 
of California, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear the prayers we place before you, those spoken aloud and those which remain in our hearts. And if it be in your will, grant them through our Lord and brother Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable and pleasing to God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone, upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim... You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, my assistant bishops, Richard, Jeffrey, James, and all the clergy, religious and laity everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her chaste spouse, with St. John the Evangelist, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, together we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our, sin, uh, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to another a sign of Christ's peace, and we extend that peace to all those viewing at home. <laughs>
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who may have and, ever. and may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As family, let us go in love and peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you.